10, 15. We'll make 10 o'clock. It's 10 o'clock. 10, 15. 5, 10, 15. The minute hand didn't go past the halfway mark of the clock, so the small hand can just stay on the 10. Here's 10.35. Let's make 10 o'clock. Now the 35. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. This did go past the halfway part of the clock. So we're going to have to move our hour hand into the middle between the 10 and the 11. This would be 10, 35. 3.50. Let's make our 3 o'clock first. 3 o'clock. This gives you a lot of practice by making the o'clocks when you start out like that. Now we're going to do our minutes. 50. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. We are really far past the six now, the halfway point. So this goes into the middle. It isn't at the four quite yet, but it will be soon. As soon as this can goes 10 more minutes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Look at here, it's pointing straight up, and that small hand has moved directly over the four now. So when we have 350, the clock looks like this. It's not on the four yet. It's close though. But as long as it's between the numbers, we back up to the to the number that is before. So this would be 350. 145. We're going to make one o'clock first. Now we'll do our 45 minutes. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. It passed the halfway mark, so we're going to put our, our, our hand in between the 1 and the 2. That would be 145 on the digital clock, 145 on the analog clock. 6.45. Let's make our 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock. That was the fun one. Now we're going to do our 45 minutes. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I'm passing you 30. 35, 40, 45. So you got to move over in between the 6 and the 7. That would be 6.45. You can practice these over and over again. And, and also, you can take your paper analog clock, if you have one, or maybe you have a toy that has a clock on it, one of your, one of your toys where you can move the hands on it. That would be fun. And take your clock to your digital clocks and see if you can make the right time on the analog clock. Or take your toy clock your, to your analog clock. Maybe it's your kitchen clock that's, a, that's an analog. Maybe you have an analog clock on a grandfather clock. Ooh, those are fun. Uh, or somewhere near your, near your uh, family room, uh, your living room. Maybe you have an analog clock in there. You can take your toy clock and match the time to your actual analog clock. Maybe you'll have an analog clock and a digital clock in your bedroom. That would even have you learn this even faster because you'll see both of the times at the same time.